Hi guys, good evening and welcome back once again to The Edward. I'm your host, Eddie, and in tonight's video, I will be discussing what I thought of the latest and super good episode and season finale. Sadly, the season finale, it feels like we just got started, but they finished so damn fast. My much delayed review for the season one finale for our new favorite fantasy Amazon Prime series, The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, holy shit that was good oh man i was i had hairs on the back of my neck a good chunk of the time throughout watching this episode and i super enjoyed it now before i get into all of that please be warned this is a spoiler and i mean spoiler filled review so if you've not seen the rings of power the season one finale which dropped this past friday do not keep watching or listening to this video as i will be discussing spoilers character reveals plot details all that jazz that being said you have been warned Okay, let's get right back into it. Spoiler warning issued. You have been warned. Don't keep watching or listening because I'm about to start dropping the deets. Okay, here we go now. Oh, man, what a great way to end the season. Oh, so good. You know, it, 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 it kind of felt like a cliffhanger, but it didn't because each storyline, not necessarily wrapped up, but it, and it, it reached a pretty good ending point, I would say. You know, the three rings have been forged for the elves now that they now forge themselves we have our reveal of who the stranger is because at first i was like huh that's sauron that doesn't seem right although maybe he's forgotten maybe he's lost his memory no no this doesn't feel right and then when he said when in doubt always follow your nose i was like gandalf yeah baby yeah one of my favorite characters has been brought to the show and it makes me so happy oh i was smiling like an idiot when he said when in doubt nori follow your nose i was like that's gotta be gandalf yes oh i was so happy and then the real sauron reveal holy shit he looks good for a thousand year old man <laughs> of course he is a magical being sorcerer i'm sure he can make himself look however the hell he wanted and it is interesting how he did seem to genuinely want an alliance or a proposal between him and galadriel or possibly between him and the elves because maybe he really does view adar and adar's orcs as his enemies and maybe once he you know, regains his true form and becomes his true self, like the version we've seen in the films and in the first episode when we saw that flashback. Maybe the orcs will quickly switch sides back to Sauron and abandon Adar. But I wonder if he considers Adar truly to be a real, real threat to him, or if he's just someone to get out of the way so he can rise to power once again. Because he seemed awfully happy and right at home when he was heading towards Mount Doom and into Mordor. In fact, as that scene was unfolding, I said, welcome home, Sauron. So... <laughs> Um, that was the stuff I liked. The stuff I didn't like, I hated seeing Nori say goodbye to her family, although it's pretty cool she and Gandalf are now going on their own adventure to find out more about him. But I really hated seeing uh, Cedric go, the older hobbit, the one who got the knife in the gut, and then he's like, oh, I think I'll be going off trail. I was like, no, man, no. Like, one of my favorite characters on this show, they kill him off. We had our big major character death in the season finale. And of course, it was like one of the coolest brandy foots of the whole f group. And now he's dead. And I was like, oh, bummer. I was like, really? The stranger couldn't put his hands on him and heal his wound? Shit. <laughs> That's a bummer. Oh, man. So that I hated seeing that. But the rest of this episode was great. The Gandalf reveal, the Sauron reveal. You know, and then Galadriel and the other elves creating their own uh, three um, rings of power. And uh, they didn't say anything about making any for the dwarves or for the men yet. But maybe that's something they're saving for season two. But it's nice that some rings of power have finally been introduced to a show that is titled The Rings of Power. <laughs> but man, what a great episode this was. I mean... The misdirect of Sauron and then it being Gandalf and then the end of those three mystic people. You know, that one kid who was spinning his staff around were awfully, reminded me of an awful lot of Sauron, 
But now that that guy is dead, along with the two ladies he was with, it couldn't have been Sauron, but maybe a wizard like him. I don't know. We'll see. But, um, man, what a great episode. And what a great first season overall. I'll be curious to see what happens with the rest of our characters moving forward. And, unfortunately, I don't know when exactly we'll get season two. But I sure as shit hope soon. Because, damn, this shit was good and gripping and left me wanting more. A lot more. Oh, what a great season finale. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. What did you think of it? I'd love to hear your thoughts and feelings and your theories on it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your night. The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, season one is now streaming in its entirety on Amazon Prime. No idea when season two will hit us. I believe it has begun production, so we'll find out when we find out. Have a wonderful rest of your night, everyone. Thanks for watching. And of course, until next time, May the force be with you.